Back in uh, Gadgets and Gizmos Part 4, we described this block which has got a V cut in it for uh, setting up for centre drilling a piece of bar in the lathe tailstock. Uh, I didn't show it in use and I thought I would do now. Not that drilling in the lathe is all that exciting but I'm just going to run through it so it can be seen in use. So I've got a number two Morse arbor which we fit in the back and uh, tighten that up and that adjustment there is for the uh, stop length stop which I preset and we're just going to use a piece of bar and fix that up all right, we'll get that slot over there and tighten up. And same with this one. Tighten that up. Check that the locking bars are fairly square to the work. And these just add a little bit of extra security. And there we are, that's uh, ready to go. Right, well we've got the centre drilling jig set up in the uh, tailstock and what we're going to do, this by the way could be done in the drill press, I mean this is it's not essential to do it in the lathe but uh, if you want to be absolutely spot on centre this is probably that bit more reliable. Now I'll just bring the tailstock back a bit. I'm going to start off just use a little homemade arbor with a small centre drill in it, tighten it up. It may not run absolutely spot on centre, but for, and you don't really need, need to use a centre drill on this, but uh, it is a good way to get a start. So we can bring that up close, lock the tailstock, and then we're ready to feed in. Right, we'll spin this up. A little touch of oil there. Now we'll just advance from the tail stop. And now let's go. That was the force there. So we put a centre drill through there, which as I say really is not that necessary. If you're a bit fussy like me, it's a good way to start. Apart from which, if the drill you're going to use is not perhaps absolutely true or I'm using a regular normal length uh, series 5 sixteenths bit in there and see if it'll run true or not well it's close but now that we've got the centre drill um, it shouldn't really matter so I'll come up fairly close just to get ready to start so a bit of oil and then we've got uh, just about three quarters to go through now we're engaged that will go a bit slower Be. This drill isn't very sharp. Good. 
just a slow steady feed, I'm running at fairly low revolutions but I prefer to go slow and try and speed it up too much. So although that wasn't the speediest job on the, uh, on the block, it wasn't too bad either. When you're as old as me you tend to go slower because you have a bit more time to spare. Let's just take, take that drill out and put it away. Just bring that back. There we are. Right. One five sixteenths hole in there. We'll take it out of the uh, take it out of the uh, jig in a moment. Well, obviously and predictably, we've got clean in, messy out. Depending how important this is, and let's say this is just to take a T bar. I can just use the uh, deburring tool there is in and there is out but it wouldn't be difficult to put this in the drill press and just put a tiny little uh, chamfer on it there we are Nothing much to it, nothing very exciting, but just shows the item in use.